Hey everyone, Mr. Review W here. I just want to give you a little update. Um, show you a couple things with the second revision of the prototype that I've got here. Um, the main thing I want to go over right this second is this wire right here. Now, uh, we mentioned in some of our earlier videos that um, you could solder a wire to the motherboard to get sounds from the cart. And basically what we're saying is, um, let's say you have your motherboard and you're going to put it in a dedicated cabinet or something and you don't want to keep move in the cabinet to change your game well you can just take um, some an extension extend your a wire from uh, your jumpers here and put your uh, jumpers in like your control panel or underneath your coin uh, door or something like that but then you can also instead of since you won't be able to see the LEDs that come on when it's changing the game um, you can just add this wire and then the sounds that play will play through the speakers because it's connected to your PCB so the start and stop sounds will play through your speakers so you'll know if it's loading a new game and when it's finished and notice I mentioned start and stop sounds the it's one thing that's changed in the second revision of the prototype in the software is now when it detects that a new game's being loaded it'll play a sound to start to tell you that it's loading a game and then it will also play a sound at the end to tell you that it's finished um, Okay, let me show you this wire though. Um, I'm going to put the schematics probably up on the video also so you can see it. And all we have here is I had I had one wire that had these one connectors on both ends and I cut it in half and then I added a length of wire. And so basically this part goes in the cartridge and then you have the wire and then right here we have a 100 ohm resistor and that's connected to a one microfarad capacitor. And then this part goes to pin, I believe it's 13, right here on the motherboard. And I will try to zoom in and show you what I've done. Let's see if I can zoom in. All right, might be kind of hard to see, but what I have here is that I've soldered a header pin. Let's see if I can move a little bit closer. That is a header pin that I've soldered directly to the pin itself. Right next to it, I put a big glob of solder on the pin because it's coming down, and I soldered it to the pin. So, since it's got a header pin, this will plug directly into that pin so you don't have a wire continuously soldered. You can always remove this whenever you don't want it. You just remove this and you don't have to worry about it. Um, so, this one end that's close to the capacitor will be plugged in to the amp on the motherboard. And let me show you this. Let me put my camera down here. And zoom out a bit. Alright, I'm going to show you on the cartridge now. There's a place designated on the cartridge where I added another right here. You see it's another header pin. There's already holes there's holes for those components that aren't there so I just all I had to do was solder a header pin on one of the holes and then as you can see the opposite side of that wire just plugs right into the header pin so it's totally optional you don't have to use this wire at all you don't have to run sound through your speakers you can just look at the you can just look at the LEDs on the cartridge if you want and that's how it is. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to demonstrate for you. All right. Turn my TV on here. Move it back a little bit. All right. So you're going to hear the sounds playing through the TV instead of just that little mini speaker like I had before. So. I'm going to load up Terra Driver here. So my start sound is the the start sound is you might recognize as the boot sound for the Sega Saturn. I thought it was kind of appropriate since the Titan is the arcade version of the Saturn hardware. And you'll see when it's done that the that I put the 
finished sound as the Sega Scream that you all might recognize from the Genesis commercials in the old days. Recognizable. All right, so this test done, so we'll just power cycle. As you'll see, Terra driver. I do want to mention real quick that if you are purchasing one of these carts and you would like one of these wire mods, I will sell it as a kit. I will sell it. will look a lot cleaner than this. I'll have like um, I'll have everything connected together and I'll have it sealed with shrink tubing and I'll I can sell you a kit with the two pins. If I'm shipping you the cart and you want it, I can go ahead and uh, solder the pin to your cartridge, and you'll just have to solder a pin to the one. Um, the one pin on the amp there, it's a real big pin, so it's not a hard thing to solder to. And then you can basically uh, install that yourself. Um, I'm not sure how much I would charge for that. Um, probably five to ten dollars, and that you would pay that directly to me. Um, also, another thing, um, when this is shipped, all of the games will have been modified, so they will run on any BIOS. You will not need a multi BIOS to play them, so the, Jap the Japanese games will boot on a US BIOS so we won't have problem with compatibility issues as far as BIOS go. Um, do notice that there are some games that were that were dedicated cabinets so you would have to change them from like a two-player cabinet to a one-player cabinet for them to boot or something like that. Um, it's no big deal though.
Sit, Kishi. Sit. Good dog. <laughs>